So my story kind of begins, like I mentioned, back in middle school. Um, I didn't quite fit in with others. Um, all of my friends who were female were able to uh, sort of embrace their femininity and learn how to um, like dress differently, how to do makeup, how to fix their hair and all this kind of stuff. And I was just sort of like this awkward gremlin in the corner with hair out to here. Um, poofy is all can be and no idea how to manage it. Um, so I go about life like that for quite a while. And it wasn't until I got into high school that I realized um, why I felt the way that I did about some things. I actually went to a summer program my uh, ninth grade year, and there is where I finally came to terms with my sexuality. Um, at the time, it, I was a lesbian. It was great. I figured that out. I went into this summer program ready to go, <laughs> you know, and I met all, and when I mean all, I mean all of the gay and bi and trans people that you could possibly meet at that summer program and that's where I first actually heard the word transgender and that's when my friend was like hey have you ever thought that maybe that's you and I was like no no way what is that so upon looking it up I uh, I was able to come to terms with yeah that sounds about right that's uh, that's definitely <laughs> what's going on with me um, so fast forward quite a bit, uh, I start seeing a mental health counselor to kind of address these uh, feelings about how I'm perceived in the world and my gender dysphoria, which I was diagnosed with by a mental health counselor. Um, and she was able to point me in the right direction to get hormone therapy and from there my hormone therapist referred me to a surgeon for top surgery. Um, my hormone therapy doctor was two hours away, so being able to get blood work for that, I feel like it was a lot of guesswork for the doctor, because there were times where I would just simply didn't have the scheduling to go two hours out of my way to get blood work done. Um, but eventually the Planned Parenthood locally was able to start uh, taking over my treatments, so it became a lot easier there. Um, so I've been on hormone therapy for about three years now, I think, three or four years, and um, I'm just kind of living as me as it, at this point, just trying to figure out what's what works and what doesn't. <laughs> And now I'm living with my fiance, who I actually met at that summer program, oddly enough, um, who I've been dating since that summer program, and she's been an awesome support system. And I honestly don't think I could have gone through anything having to do with my transition without her. 